There is more at stake in the upcoming election cycle than just what's on the ballot. Universities and colleges around the state are competing to see how many students they can get registered to vote. News for Utah's Glenn Beebe shows us who's winning the race for the cup. It's no secret, young people don't vote in large numbers. Asking around campus, we seem to hear very legitimate reasons of why. They feel like their vote doesn't count. Convenience, I guess. People are lazy. <laughs> I don't know. It's not like sports. It's not like, uh, I don't know, video games. So I guess they just don't pay attention to it. To make things more like sports, in 2012, the state started a competition for the prestigious and sought-after Campus Cup. What is the Campus Cup? The Cup is awarded to any university who gets the most students registered to vote and casting a ballot on Election Day. Right now, the campus tucked away in Sugar House with no football team is running away with it. Westminster's currently winning. Oh, of course we are. Everyone here will vote. Elections officials say the goal is clear and it already seems to be working. The students out there registered voting and participating in democracy. More than 2,500 students have registered so far. Utah State University is far behind and looks to be letting their repeat title slip away. While those of the U say they won't take this lying down. I'll probably go register to vote now because <laughs> we got to have U win all the time. That's what I'm talking about. Got to get the dub. Political experts at the U say they use a different system to register voters and note 56% of their students voted in the last election. They could be taking charge to win it after Election Day. It's one thing to say you're registered. We're great at actually even getting them to vote, and that's where it matters. Reporting in Salt Lake City, I'm Glenn Beebe, News 4, Utah. Now for students to help their schools in the competition, they need to register through a special link on the lieutenant governor's website or through an on-campus voting drive. Students can also gain points by using social media with their school's hashtag. For all the information, head to goodforutah.com and click on this story.